Hello, this is an assessment in transit of a Grotenstein Steinweg upright piano. It's a model 120, that's 120 centimetres high, and the casework's faded and changed in colour considerably since it was first made. And the music stand inside gives us an idea of the original colour. You can see that's very mahogany uh, colour, and the original piano would have been similar. The idea of these two music stands were, was that this was the height of a grand piano, which is a, perhaps a better piano posture, uh, height posture-wise, and this is to put on uh, more modern pianos, uh, because it's not possible to fit these unless you do have them in the inside of the piano. Grotrians have an, uh, an unusual back to them, they have a, a wonderful bracing here, uh, which is actually copied by some Yamahas later on, uh, but it gives tremendous stability. The soundboard at the back is in extremely good condition with no cracks on it. The ivory keys here are in excellent condition, they do need buffing and they're slightly yellowing, so if they're not buffed then they will tend to attract the dirt. There's an 85 note keyboard, which is very common on this age of piano. Just the inside of the piano, 120, 1927 is an excellent age for Grotrian. At Steinwegs and uh, they really are special, very special upright pianos. You can see the wear on the hammers here. It's had a reasonable amount of wear in its life, uh, but I don't think those hammers need replacing. Uh, they need refacing and toning. It's a bit brash at the moment, especially around this area here, in this area where it's played a lot. A slightly different tone this side to that side, which is quite common, and I don't think we can really get eradicate that completely. It can be disguised, it's an excellent tone anyway. Tremendous break point between tenor and bass. That's a sign of a really high quality piano. Where you can't really tell the tone difference between this point where the, they go to one part of the soundboard and that point where they go to another. That's really high quality manufacturing. Tested the tuning pins which are very tight. And they're still the original tuning pins, original strings. I wouldn't change those because Grotrian have such a delicious flavour as it were of sound on the strings. The piano is actually very well regulated with the pedal lifting, uh, the, the dampers coming off at the right time together and the dampers with the with this, uh, the key as well, they're lifting off halfway, extremely well regulated and doesn't really need much work. It's just toning really and refacing the hammers. So some slightly loose hammer flanges uh, where the, the hammer's moving sideways slightly, like this one here, and that, that will need attending to as well. The set-off is also extremely well regulated, they're coming off right at the very last minute and performing very well indeed. So the main work needing doing on this piano is uh, toning uh, and voicing the hammers and cosmetic work. Here's a Richard Lip upright that we've recently repolished. We put 30 coats of French polish on roughly and finish off by waxing and uh, uh, antique waxing. Here's another Grotrian that's in much better condition. We've revived the case rather than repolished the case on this one. Um, the Grotrian in question will need full repolishing. So that's a Grotrian Steinweg 1927, 120 centimetres high, bought in for assessment and really well worth restoring. It's a superb piano. It has a beautiful singing tone right throughout. rich warm bass. So now the piano is finished off and uh, it's been repolished by 30 coats of French polish finished off by waxing and uh, you can see the, uh, the case is completely transformed. We've also lowered the piano stool by an inch because it was too high and it also wasn't fitting underneath the piano either. The client asked for the original name of the supplier to be kept on there and uh, that's nice to be able to do that and it's matched in pretty well. Uh, you can see we've, we've buffed them the, the keys so that they're now shiny and won't attract dirt. And the name's blended in really nice with the, the, with the new foot polish. I say this, this Roach and Steinbeck have the, a lot of good quality German pianos have two desks so you've got the uh, option of height. This is the height of a grand piano. I've also repolished the desk if you look at the uh, how it was before um, because it wouldn't have matched in as it was so uh, the colour is that we think is a slightly less red, richer and um, more golden red colour. The that were loose have been tightened up, put new hinge pins in them and also the hammers have been refaced and toned. Uh, that's actually quite a painstaking process because all, when you reface, and it's really important if you ever reface pianos, you must present the hammer to the string and pluck the strings afterwards. Uh, you can't, obviously can't do it like this, you just gently present it to the string, pluck the string and make sure it's hitting all three strings uh, exactly the same time, otherwise it won't, refacing won't have actually improved the piano. But now you've got a lovely even tone and a nice 
exactly the right, it's a beautiful tone. It's, Grotins is such an amazing piano. Wonderful match of tone there, wonderful break point. And as we mentioned before, wonderful break point here. Excellent damping for, for that crossover point. See how small the damper is here, but um, they put a fly damper on, uh, which cuts off all the harmonics. So there's a competition of a client in the background here, but we finished off the piano then, and uh, it has a beautiful, rich tone as Grochins do. Really one of our very favorite uprights. So singing everywhere around the whole piano. And very even toned. Thank you very much for listening.